What's going on guys? Welcome back to Starbase Wraps. Are you thinking about buying a Tesla or an EV or maybe you already bought one and you're wondering like, hey, how am I going to charge this thing quickly? Well, this video is just for you. I'm going to show you how to save thousands of dollars if you have a 240 volt dryer outlet. There's something called a split charger that automatically splits the uh, electricity between your EV charger and your dryer. So I'm going to show you that setup and hopefully this video will save you thousands of dollars. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, just go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like the video. I'm always putting out Tesla and EV content. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So here we are in my garage. I've got my Tesla plugged in right here. I'm just using the mobile charger from Tesla. And I've got the cord kind of looped around here. It goes right into the corner of the door there. It's not pinched. You can see there's a huge gap right there. So no pinching, nothing like that. Go ahead and close that the door shuts nice and you can see my charger is uh, going right there i've got this plugged into a 1430 extension cord these are used for rvs you can get these anywhere like harbor freight lowe's home depot i got this one off of amazon it was like 40 bucks and then i kind of snake that around my dryer right here and this is where the magic happens right here this is a split volt ev charger so this plugs into the wall, into the 240 volt dryer outlet, and then your dryer plugs into the splitter and your EV charger plugs into the EV port. And it'll automatically switch between EV and dryer. So as you can see, my Tesla is charging, the EV light is on. If I come over to my dryer right here and I turn it on, it automatically switches. So now that EV light is off and I can see like, hey, this is 245 you know, volts go into my dryer when it switches over the voltage will change here so I'll go ahead and turn this off and now our EV is charging again so it flips uh, flips it right back over so there's no voltage going here and it also has built-in safety there's a breaker here and then there's also a breaker here so I've got kind of two countermeasures to prevent any issues and look at this look at this extension cord too like this is way thicker than the wiring in your house it's thicker than the dryer it's even thicker than the split volt thing right here if you're just using a little tiny you know 120 volt like you know a 20 gauge extension cord that's not going to work it'll probably overheat but this thing is more robust than all the other wires so there is no issues there so this is like i said this is split volt i got it off of amazon it was like 400 bucks they do make like $200 version ones. I did use one of those that died out after eight months. So I upgraded to this one right here. So the extension cord was like 40 bucks. This was 400, so 440. And I have level two charging. And again, you can use an Amazon one for 200. So for less than $250, if you have a 240 volt dryer, you'll be set up with level two charging for your EV. So you can see here, this is the Model S Plaid. If you're on the Model 3, Model Y, you're just going to have this center thing. I think the Cybertruck only has a center thing too. But on the uh, S's and X's, you have this other dash display. So you can see I'm getting 18 miles per hour of charge rate. I'm on a 24 amps at 230 volts. So every hour I get an additional 18 miles of range. I've got 25 minutes remaining. I'm on 247 uh, miles of charge currently. Um, right here, if you go into your settings, you click charging, it's going to open up this menu right here. You're going to see this amperage right here. If you're going to use the technique I'm going to tell you with a dryer splitter, it might default to 32 amps. Most dryer outlets are going to be on a 30 amp breaker, so it's going to trip if it's set to 32. So go ahead and scale that down to 24 amps, and that will ensure that your breaker is not going to trip uh, all the time, because that would be the worst, right? You're sleeping overnight, you plug in your Tesla, 20 minutes later the breaker trips and then you're not getting any charge. So this will keep you safe right here. And then you'll see this charge limit right here to 80%. If you're on the long range or performance, Model 3, Model Y, uh, Model X, Model S, you're, wanna gonna, you're gonna want to keep that at 80%. If you're on the standard range, 3 or Y, you can go all the way to 100. For my other types of EV owners like Hyundai and Kia and Lucid and Ion, all that stuff, um, you're just going to have to check the uh, composition of your battery and what your manufacturer recommends. 
for performance and long range model x uh, model s keep it at 80 percent because that's going to prolong the life of your battery if you keep it at 100 percent all the time with those it's going to accelerate the degradation of your battery it's really bad for the uh battery to be sitting at 100 still not doing anything anything past 90 or past 80 is for road trips um but i'll be honest with you even on road trips i still keep it at 80 percent i've got to stop every couple hours anyway and i mean like that's 248 miles. Now, realistically, is this going to go 248 miles? Probably not. It's probably only going to get, you know, 200 miles of range because you got to factor in environment, environmental stuff. And like if you're going up mountains, it's super cold, you're going to get less range. Um, so that's kind of like best case scenario. But realistically, I'll kind of just, you know, decrease 25% from the range. And that'll be like my actual range. And I speed. I'm, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I do speed. If you're going, you know, 65 the whole way, you're going to get better range. But, um, I, you know, I just want to get there. So I'm not too worried about like my battery consumption and all that type of stuff. But that is just my setup in here. That's what it looks like. That's how I set my Tesla up for home charging. And again, if you have a different style EV, you're gonna to wanna to get with your manufacturer specifications and see what they recommend. So that's a wrap for this video. And I realize not everyone is gonna have a 240 volt dryer. You might have a gas dryer or a 120 volt dryer. That's okay. You can still utilize the supercharging network until you know you get enough funds to uh, have an electrician put a 240 volt in, or you might be completely fine. Just plug it into the wall. You can absolutely plug it into 120. You'll get about five miles of range every hour when you're, when you're charging in a 120, but uh, you might have to do some math too. Like if you're an Uber driver or you travel a lot for sales, um, you know, and you drive a lot, you might just have to do some math and uh, you might have to supplement with like the supercharging network uh, in addition to the wall charging. But my favorite part about owning an EV is no more gas stations. Like I remember waking up early on my way to work, like, oh man, like I got to get gas. I'm going to be late. There's a line, the dirty gas pumps, you know, uh, I, I had like a performance car. So I was always looking around for like the 93, certain places only have 91. And if you're on E85, it's even worse. Uh, but that's a thing of the past now. And man, I'm telling you, every time I had fraudulent charges on my credit card, it was always from the freaking skimmers at the gas pumps. Uh, man, that was the worst. So that's a thing of the past. Every day I wake up, my, my car is fully charged and I never have to worry about filling up again. Like people might complain, oh, it takes six hours. It takes eight hours to charge at home or whatever. It's like, cool, man. Like I'm asleep during that whole time. So this thing's full every time I wake up in the morning. And uh, even if you're on a road trip and using the supercharger network, most of the time you're in and out of there in 15, 20 minutes. Like, I think Elon said it best. Like, the, the superchargers uh, are way faster than my bladder. Like, I'm always drinking caffeine and water, staying hydrated. So when I'm on road trips, I'm going to want to stop every two hours anyway. I've got a toddler. So, you know, we got to go to the bathroom every few hours anyway. I'm not one of those guys that's like, well, I need a vehicle that could go 800 miles on a single tank. Like, oh, Tesla's not going to work 400 miles of range. What are you going to do with that? That's insane to me. Like, I, I'm, I'm almost 40. So, like, I do have to stop every, uh, you know, every couple hours. Got that old man bladder going on. But, uh, you know, if you're one of those guys that's like, I drive a thousand miles without stopping once, like an EV probably isn't going to be for you. You're going to want like a, you know, a thousand gallon diesel truck or something like that. But uh, that, those kind of comments always crack me up. Uh, so speaking of comments, if you have any questions, I'm a Tesla specialist. I do vinyl wrap, ceramic window tint, paint, paint protection film, detailing, ceramic coatings, all that stuff. You can check out my website at starbasedwraps.com. My email is ben at starbasedwraps.com. If you're in the Las Vegas area and you want to make your Tesla look freaking awesome with a vinyl wrap or stay cool in the summer with a ceramic window tint, please reach out to me. You can comment on this video, send me an email. Uh, all my information is on starbasedwraps.com. I'd love to hear from you and make your Tesla look awesome. So if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. I'm always putting out new content and uh, like the video. And we will catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. This has been absolutely awesome. I'm just kind of reflecting back. This garage was completely empty a year ago. I started doing wraps and tin a year ago. And man, it's like a full scale shop now. And uh, if you had your vehicle tinted by me or wrapped by me, I just want to say thank you because it is awesome to kind of follow my passion and, and make these vehicles look awesome. So thanks again, and we'll catch you on the next one.